Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk you about my R package for computing implicit measure scores. So what is implicit assessment in psychology? It is the assessment of people's attitudes without directly asking them, but by inferring them from the speed with which respondents are performing categorization tasks in two contrasting conditions, say condition A and condition B. The two most commonly employed measures are the implicit association test, which can answer to the question, how much do you like Coke or Pepsi? And the single category implicit association test, which can answer to the question, how much do you like Coke or how much do you like Pepsi? So the IET provides a comparative measure of the preference between two objects, while the single category can provide a measure that is absolute to where just one object. So the IET and single category effects, which are the differences in the respondent's performance between the two associative conditions, are usually expressed by using the so-called discord, which is simply computed as the difference between the average response times in the two conditions, standardized by using the pooled standard deviation. The computation per, per se is rather easy, but the steps that have to be undertaken to clean and prepare the data set to make it an error-prone procedure, which can raise, of course, replicability issues. That's why I decided to create this package to automate the cleaning and computation procedure and hence obtaining more replicable results. Implicit Measures is available on CRAN, so you can download it from CRAN and upload it in your R. Implicit Measures comes with a toy dataset, raw data, that you can use to familiarize yourself with the, its functions. So we have measure specific functions for computing and cleaning the data for the IET and the single category, a function for compute the IET reliability, and since there are six different algorithms for computing the IET discord, we also have a function that simultaneously compute and plot all the available algorithms. While for the single category, we have a function that plots together the results from two different single categories. Finally, we also have common functions for both the IET and single category results, which summarize the results of these measures in descriptive tables or plots their distributions. So finally, last but not least, thank you so much for your attention and this QR code will redirect you to the crown page of my package. Thanks again for your attention and please contact me if you have any further questions.